Hey guys, Michael Clark here with the weather porthole in BMWX.com. I felt like it's been important to go over some of the latest features with you because uh, there have been several questions. Uh, first and foremost, the latest feature here is now the spray forecast method. And that's going to be highlighted here on the fifth column from the left that shows the spray nozzle, essentially, if you will, showing up in three different colors, red, yellow, or green. Now this is gone, this is formulated off of multiple parameters, such as wind, relative humidity, uh, temperature, uh, whether or not there's an inversion, and we're also using delta T calculations. Um, so this stuff is very important when determining if you can spray or apply a chemical of any kind. Uh, it doesn't matter really what kind of chemical you're looking at. This is a, a universal type application for good or bad spray conditions. Green means go. It's great. Go for it. Yellow means caution. All right. You can still do it, but just keep an eye out on things. Watch things. Red means we advise you don't do it. We advise not to spray, whether it be because of an inversion or because of the wind or because of precipitation chances, whatever the case may be. There is a lot of science and a lot of research behind these parameters. Okay. Second thing, we've had people ask if we could put precipitation forecasts on the 36-hour forecast. Well, we do. All you have to do is click on this, and you go to a different screen. Now, in this particular location, there is no precipitation really forecasted at all. Uh, whether you can see down here, there's a 1 100th of an inch. But you can see the different parameters. Now, this is presenting precipitation to you in ranges. The minimum amount, the maximum, and the most likely. We're able to do that by using ensemble models, by using multiple computer models that no other app or service can offer you. Okay, So please keep that in mind as well. Also, when we go here to the radar feature, all right, the radar feature now has two new tools, future radar and future accumulating max wind gust. You click on these. Okay, We can zoom out for a second to see if we have any precipitation worth noting. But it will forecast the radar for in the future in 15-minute increments out to 18 hours. It updates every hour. The accumulated max wind gust does the same thing. Updates every hour, 15-minute increments. Use that tool to help you determine whether or not there's going to be precipitation in the forecast or wind. It can help you kind of get a depiction of what that might look like. There's also a couple other things people don't know. You can edit your location. I can click on the pencil here, I can go to my location, and I can edit it. Yes, this is my home address, please do not send me any weird mail. <laughs> but this is a look here at the different alert parameters. Well, we've added a new one. These are custom threshold alerts. You can turn these off and on by simply clicking them. Okay, Heat index can go up or down. You can set these parameters for when these thresholds are met for you to get alerts. Wind for gust or speed at a certain threshold. I simply click up and down. You can see it messes with it, right? Visibility forecast alerts, fog forecast alerts, and precipitation alerts. You'll get a, an alert when precipitation with this is within five miles of your location. It's very neat stuff. But again, you can also, you can alter your locations. You can change where you're getting forecasts from, all right? The database will read that and it'll generate forecasts for those locations, okay? Last, I think most importantly here with the seven day, again, we're looking at a range of precipitation. All right, so for Saturday, if it's zero to four one hundredths, you're looking at a 13 to 21 percent chance of a light thunderstorm. You're looking at 67 percent relative humidity, and your ET, which is your evaporative transpiration rate, is that's how much water you would lose from the ground that day. The GDU is your growing degree unit. If you have a video in your area, you can watch the video forecast. Always remember the chat option is available as well, and you have your seven-day rainfall and snowfall maps. Those are some of the latest features, the latest being obviously the custom alerts and the spray forecasts, and we do offer QPF forecasts in the 36-hour screen if you click on it and go to, the next, uh, go to the next screen. That's all I have for today. Just want to make sure you guys are aware of everything that this app does. We'll continue to add more. Thanks for being a customer and, and supporter of everything that we do. Have a wonderful day.